So, children, today in linear equations, we will discuss about the ages problem. So, okay, children, already we have completed original number and reversal number. Some children, original number I said 10x plus. So, I reversed the number 10 by plus x, and digits are x and y. I told you, you hope you all remember. And in fractions of x is a numerator, I said, and y is a denominator, I said, x by y is the fraction, I told. In the same way, for ages, there are no certain. Uh, there are no basics like this, children, but small things you should remember, children, in ages. Some small, small things you should remember. What are the small, small things, children? Number one, when you are finding age, remember, children, age should never come zero. Zero means you did not born only. Age should never come to zero. Number two, don't write negative ages. Negative ages means your previous uh, life ages. It won't come. Negative ages won't come. Here, negative can come, on means yes. Here negative can come on means yes, but in age you can't get negative answer. Don't say minus 10 is this age, sir. Please don't say. Okay, sir, will, uh, whoever is correcting, they will get heart attack. Children. Minus 10 won't be that. Age cannot be zero, means he did not born. Age cannot be negative, means his previous uh, life. And number two, after this many years, means suppose father after 10 years, means x plus 10. Father. Before seven years means x minus seven. Like this, you should do it. After hence means plus. Before means minus. Like this, these are the basics, children. So never zero, never minus. After means plus, before means minus. After means plus, before means minus. Shall we start, children? Open the link in the description, then you will understand. Some sums, if you do five, six sums, then you will be it is a very, very easy sum, children. Okay, start. First sum. What is the first sum, children? Okay, first five sums I will say, children, then I will be asking you. Five years hence, the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. Let's Jacob age is X and son's age is Y always. Okay. Now, five years hence, five years hence means X plus five, Y plus five. Okay. Five years after means only the father say you won't increase. Son's age also will increase, not children, after five years. Okay. X plus five, Y plus five. Okay, after five years, the age of Jacob will be three times. The age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. Age of Jacob is three times that of his son. And five years ago, five years ago means x minus five, y minus five. For both of them, you should subtract five. Only Jacob age will subtract five. Uh, son will be right that only. No, not like that. So five years ago, Jacob was five years ago. Jacob was seven times of his son. Five years ago, Jacob was seven times. Five years after, Jacob is three times. If you can manage these two equations, then remaining sum everyone can do children. X plus five is equal to three y plus fifteen, and x minus five is equal to seven y minus thirty five. And this comes here, this goes there. X minus three y is equal to ten, and this comes here, this goes there. X minus seven y is equal to minus thirty. Now solve this equation, children. Elimination will go. X minus three y is equal to ten. X minus 7y is equal to minus 30. Okay. Minus plus plus children. Okay. Uh, this is going 3 minus 7 minus 3. How much children? 4y is equal to uh, plus no 40. So y is equal to 10. Sun sage is 10 years. Compulsory you should write yes. If you don't write yes, marks cut. 10 years. Okay. And substitute in any one of the equations, children. X minus 7 into 10 is equal to minus 30. X minus 70 is equal to minus 30. And X is equal to 70 minus 30. X is equal to 40 years. Okay. So, father sage. Compulsory should write. 40 years. Compulsory should write. Son sage. If you don't write this, children, marks cut. 10 years. Years also should write. Compulsory. Like this, you should do. Compulsory children. Like this. Years also you should put. If you don't put years, marks cut. Now later you don't ask me. Second sum children. All of you go to second sum children. Second sum. What is second sum? They said the father's age is six times of his son's age. Hope you are able to understand. Father's age is okay. Six times of his son's age. Always father's age. Let's take x son sage let's take y father is six times of his son sage father age is six times son sage four years hence here plus four here plus four compulsory both plus four here and there age of father is four times of his son age of father is four times of his son okay children now finally it's a simple very easy 
instead of x put 6y which is simple you will get it instead of x put 6y so 6y plus 4 is equal to 4y plus 16 this here this here 2y is equal to 12 y is equal to 6 years okay and you put here x x is equal to 6 6 36 years okay so what you write after this father sages in the statement what you write father sages 36 years son sages 6 years if you don't write this statement children at the end i will not give marks remember later you will okay next assumption this what the next assumption five years ago nuri was thrice as old as sonu let's nuri age is x five some seven say children after that i will be asking you so nuri age is y five years ago means x minus five y minus five five years ago nuri was thrice nuri nuri was thrice nuri was thrice first equation 10 years later x plus 10 y plus 10 for both of them you should put 10 years children okay 10 years later nuri is twice nuri is twice nuri is twice okay so x minus 5 is equal to 3y minus 15 and x plus 10 is equal to 2y plus 20 okay this here this year x minus 3y is equal to minus 10 this here and that there children x minus 2y is equal to 10 solve this equation children nuri age is dash years so nu age is dash years come for the ratio Elimination you can do your children, that's why I'm not saying. Like that, you should solve children. Okay. When you say before five years means for both of them before five years. After 10 years means for both of them after 10 years, children. Always. Put for both of them. Okay. Next sum, children. Go to next sum. Next sum. 10 years ago, the sum of ages of two sons, children. This is very, 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 very important question. Okay, very important question, children. Many people will do so much. Uh, I will just say they commit so many mistakes in this sum, children. So many mistakes in this sum. Very, very important, mm -hmm. children. If ever any uh, person want to give tough question, they'll give this question only, children, always. Okay. So, 10 years ago, some of the ages of two sons was one third of their father age. Let father age is X, children. And sum of two sons age we should take y don't take one fellow is y other fellow is z don't take like that now listen 10 years ago x minus 10 y minus 10 am i correct children father is one third of their son's age am i correct children So children here, be careful children, many people will commit here only mistake. What I wrote 10 years means x minus 10, y minus 10. No, here you should not write y minus 10, you should write y minus 20. Y means two sons my children. One fellow minus 10, one fellow minus 10. So compulsory minus 20 children. Be careful, many people will do this mistake only children. Okay, so 10 years ago, father is one third of his uh, sum of this son's age. This is one condition. Here if you forget 20 children, gone is. Remember, next one. One son is two years older than the other, and some of their present ages is 14 years less than the father's present age. Okay, one son is two years older than the other. Okay, children, I thought this is some other sum, children, not that sum. One second. This is some other sum, children. Okay, I was telling some. Okay, I didn't see the sum. Without seeing the sum, I'm telling the sum. Okay, children, please see here. Father ages X, children. Father ages X, and uh, sum of ages of two sons, uh, two sons, sum of the ages of two sons, sum of ages of two sons was one third of their father's age, one third of their father's age, or the sum of the ages of two sons. One son is, so uh, let us take y and z, children, y and z, or the sum of the ages of two sons, y and z is equal to one third of one third of father's age. This is one son children and this is another son children. This is another son. First son, second son. Whoever it is. Okay. So, please try to understand children. One son is two years older than the other. One son is two years older than the other. One son is two years older than the other. Some of their present ages is 14 years. Some of their present ages. Some of their present ages is 14 years less than father's present age. 14 years less than father's present age. Okay, children. 
so so many conditions they give children happily you can what is this is first condition this is second condition this is third condition when three variables are there compulsory three conditions they should give they give if you solve the three conditions you get out of children okay now chalo chalo y plus z y plus z are equal no combine these both children so 1 by 3x is equal to x minus 40 take here children x is equal to 3x minus 42 okay bring 42 here x there children 2x is